Hey everybody, it's Steve from Lake Town Bible Church uh, with an update on the building project. Um, right now I'm in the entryway. Um, a lot of the HVAC work um, has been progressing. You can hear a lot of the work over the bathrooms, the three units that are up there. Um, so we'll, we'll start in that area and then we'll just work our way around the building. We're on the east side of the building. You can see that Brian's got all four of our septic tanks installed and they're plumbed. Uh, we passed inspection as well. Um, over this berm here that he built, you can see the vent pipes for our septic field, uh, which we weren't expecting to get put in, uh, but Brian put it in. So our, our outside uh, plumbing system, septic system, is all hooked up and all passed uh, our state inspections for that. All right, so we're out here on the south side of the building. Um, we've got the, the two pads poured for the exterior air handler units, um, which are right there. So those will get installed here. We've got conduit in the sleeves run um, for running the electrical wire, the control wire, and the propane lines come up through the concrete. So these are just about ready to go, ready for the air handler installation. Brian has gotten all of the um, drain pipes from the gutter run down, piped. There's a long pipe that's underneath, it's underground, it runs along the back side of this wall and it exits over there so all the rainwater discharge is drained away from the building. Here we have a pad poured. Um, these posts are here. We're actually going to build a roof over top of the two outside air handlers and also the two back doors of the building, which will also protect our, our main electrical panel here. So these are all ready to go. Uh, said once we get the air handlers installed and get them plumbed. We'll come back, we'll put the roofs on overhead. We'll protect them from the snow and the weather. And, uh, so that's what's going on back here. All right, so Brian Bart decided to show up and uh, surprise me, and we got both of these units uh, set this afternoon. Uh, so progress being made before I can even get the video updated. Okay, looking into our kitchen area, we can see a lot of the main duct runs are done from the units above the men and women's bathroom. A lot of the vent piping is run outside already. That white PVC pipe up there. All of our vent pipes uh, are going through the sidewalls of the building instead of through the roof as is normally done. Uh, putting it through the sidewall does a couple things. One, it eliminates a very common leak point on the roof. Um, the other is, with the amount of snow we get up here, it eliminates a, a, a chance that the vent pipe could get snowed over, um, leading to back pressure and uh, um, gas venting issues. Um, so we're running everything out through the sidewall. Uh, that black thin pipe you see going down the wall almost to the floor there, that's for the propane. Uh, the propane lines have been run uh, to the inside units already. This bathroom right here is the women's bathroom. This is the bathroom that we are currently having a camp, capital campaign for um, to finish out the inside of it and make it functional for the building project as we go through the winter. If you, if you were wondering which bathroom we're gonna do first. And above the nursery and cry room, the HVAC work has continued up here as well. Uh, they have started running lines down through the ceiling uh, into the various rooms. Um, that's that round ductwork you can see there. So those come off the main trunks and provide the airflow into the various areas. Uh, and then the main duct has been constructed 
through the central bulkhead into the sanctuary. The sanctuary air comes from this unit up here as well, along with a couple others, the outside units. These are one of those um, air registers in the ceiling of the cry room. See that round duct up there coming through? And that is the, the, the grill that will be the final grill that we will run drywall up around. Uh, and that'll be what you see on the finished ceiling. The last day was primarily focused on framing out the sanctuary is what we're walking into now. Here you can see we've got all but two of the walls uh, got built on, on that last work day. A lot of two by fours, a lot of two by sixes. Again, you see that main duct line from HVAC units above the nursery running through that central bulkhead. Um, so you can start to see what the sanctuary is going to look like. Um, again, you'll have the central bulkhead running down the middle of the room. It will be drywalled. Um, you may see a lip Get my finger. A lip right here along this edge. There's a recessed shelf on which we'll have some hidden lighting pointed up at the ceiling. The sloped section here goes up and then this higher ceiling here will have the tongue and groove wood, wood paneling on. Now the room will be, I guess, the, the perimeter of the room will have this angled bulkhead as well. You can see. Got it mostly done on one side. Bulkhead on top will run additional duct work, will run electrical lines, audiovisual lines will run around there. Our windows Due to the depth of the wall from having to hide a couple columns, we're doing an angled window area. We'll come down to the one that's mostly finished, as y'all can see. The window area is very wide. There will be a, a wood um, bench along the bottom there. Goes up into a cathedral style ceiling up above it to tie in with this bulkhead. This bulkhead is the same level as the central bulkhead and will tie into it in the middle of the room. And then up above, up here, just as we did with this with the center bulkhead, we'll include we'll take this there's my finger. We'll take this angled face here that goes up to the higher ceiling, we'll take that same design and do it all along the side bulkheads. All the way around, the bulkheads will point up to that wooden ceiling. Bulkheads will all be drywalled. Coming down here, we have an exit out of the building down there. It looks kind of dark, um, but you have to remember that those doors back there will have uh, full glass panels that will be installed in them once the building project is complete. So we'll be able to bring in a lot more natural light into that back corner. Um, the ceiling of this area back here will be at this height here. We'll just flatten out and go through there. Um, and this, this area back here not only just for a building exit, but it's also access to the ramp to go up onto the platform. Platform has been laid out. As you can see, this, this shape here, this area here, and that area over there. 
Um, that's the stairs up onto the platform. Um, this area here is for the speaking podium. And then both sides have this, this kind of alcove area, um, which, which I'm labeling the, the musician's alcoves. Um, one will hold the piano, and the other one will be open uh, for um, some of our guitar players, other, other instruments that may, people might play, uh, let them set up uh, in, the, in that area. Now the ceiling, basically from this corner of the bulkhead over to what will be the bulkhead when it gets built, that'll be a flat ceiling in there above the platform. Um, you can see the height of the platform right there. Sorry, my finger just taking the focus. The height of the platform is right there. It's about 18 or so inches off the floor. This area in here We'll have a flat ceiling, flat drywalled ceiling. And that space on the back wall is large enough for us to mount uh, the wooden cross that's on our current uh, platform, our current building. There's enough height there to install it there. So here you can see another, one of the musician's alcoves, stairs up onto the platform speakers, podium, stairs up to the platform, musician's alcove. That back there is a storage room where we'll keep uh, the baptismal. Um, so we'll have a, a door to access that there and also another door over here. And then in the back there is, is the ramp to come up on the stage if stairs are a difficulty. Also on the back side here, back side of this kind of triangular shaped uh, set of walls. Back here we'll have built-in storage for hymnals, microphones, mic stands, um, whatever we typically need and currently store on our, our existing platform. We'll have a space back here that's hidden um, that we'll be able to store all that stuff so it's easily accessible, but also keep, keep all that equipment out of sight until we need it. So right now, I'm, I'm on the ramp that will go up. The ramp comes back to this corner here, comes across. So that's the start of your ramp up onto the platform. This space back here, if you're wondering what all this space is back here, um, this is a change that we made. Uh, instead of running the ductwork, um, see right behind here, right back in here, um, on the outside of the building are the two external uh, air handler units. So instead of running that ductwork from those units um, up the outside of the building, and bringing in at the ceiling, um, where instead we're bringing the ductwork in down here at the ground level, coming over and then going up. So that's what this space back here is for. Doing that keeps most of our ductwork inside. It's easier to protect from the elements. It's also more efficient. Um, we're not having ductwork exposed to our winter reweather. Um, so here I'm on the platform. You can see the main doors in the sanctuary, cry room, viewing window, the sound booth, and then the, the windows. All right, work's continuing. Um, starting to get cold up here. It actually snowed at my house a couple days ago. Um, good news is a lot of our outside work is done. Um, we're looking to move inside um, to 
work out the winner in here.